and welcome to episode four. We're going to Bryce Canyon. So welcome to episode four, four of our National Park series. On this trip, I was just looking at Google Maps and sometimes I'll zoom in along our route and just hit attractions and see what comes up. If you've seen our other episodes, you know I love the in-between. There's so many cool things you can find. It was cool to have even the journey from destination to destination um, be an experience in and of itself. And if you name something the belly of the dragon, I cannot resist. Where are we heading? Belly of the dragon should be pretty gross with guts and sandwiches and stuff. I think we're gonna find some dead knights, hobbits that have been eaten, a few orcs. It was like a cave and you could, and a ton of people had carved their names in it. And then we climbed there and it was really fun. When you're coming out of Zion, um, in between Bryce Canyon and the Grand Canyon. It goes underneath Highway 89 and it's, it's unmarked. The only thing that you'll see is a dead end sign. A dead, dead end. end. So the only sign says dead end. So far we have no confirmation that we're going the right way. You just drive down this dirt path and you come down to the spot where you can see it. It used to be for drainage, Jill says. Um, back in the day. So it's just kind of a fun little pit stop. We walked all the way through. It was dark, dark, dark. <laughs> it was really fun. It was interesting. It's not very long. I have read that you can go farther. How long is it? Matt also says it's not very long. That's our measurement. And then we were off to Bryce Canyon. Bryce Canyon was also a really nice break for me. I do enjoy the beauty of these rock structures, but I also really love like tall grass and wildflowers and pine trees. Thanks, Elliot. And Bryce Canyon had a ton of it, plus the cool weird rocks. When we got in, we set up camp and like, it was such a change from Moab. Such a change from Moab? Zion! I have a problem and I keep calling Zion Moab. So after we set up the tent, we went straight to Sunrise Point. They have a really cool view and a nice little trail and a fence going along the rim. I'm sugared up. I'm He's sugared up. Throwing up is one of my worst fears. I hate the noise, I hate doing it. Even when other people want to throw up. Ugh. Elliot started to mention that his head was hurting him. And I'm like, I kind of feel like I'm gonna throw up. So I had my cool pack backpack. So I dumped everything from there and I handed Elliot the cool pack real quick and he brings it up and just <laughs> And I didn't want to throw the backpack away because I'm a geek about it and I love it. So I brought it to the bathroom and I dumped it into the toilet. But along with the vomit <laughs> came an apple and like part of a toy Quinn had had with him. So I had to reach into the toilet. I cleaned Quinn's toy with a ton of soap. Welcome, come into the mansion of doom. Called Bryce Canyon. <laughs> I use all trails a lot. So I looked at the different hikes and we just kind of chose ourselves like what we felt up to. And so we did a combination of a couple of trails. Wall Street has a bunch of switchbacks and then it has like these cool um, doorway things kind of carved into the rock. It's like hiking in a Dr. Seuss book, except there's no Who's from Whoville, but there is Bob the Chipmunk. And he kept following us all the way down. Bob started off kind of cute and then Bob kind of Docked us. Every path while we were going down. And then it seemed like Bob showed up everywhere. There's some really cool rock formations that you're working your way through, and like the trails just kind of connect, which is kind of cool. So we ended up on the Navajo Trail. That's like. That's exactly what I thought. I did too. Not a trail. Queen's Garden is amazing. And there's a lot more hoodoos and like elevation changes going kind of up and down. So you get all these different views of them. So at the Queen's Garden, you kind of go a little bit higher thinking that the trail continues. And then there's a sign that says end of trail to let you know that you can't go any farther. 
you know when you're going down the hills and you're like, this is great, we're loving it. You're gonna have to go back up at some point unless you decide to live down there. I thought about that. Maybe open an ice cream shop, never go back up. Well, if you're looking for that person who doesn't sweat or get out of breath on trails, you're following the wrong family. I just cracked something. We're tired, but it was fun, but we're tired. So after the big hike, we ate peanut butter and jelly in the car because it was pouring. It's pouring! It rained in Yellowstone, it rained in Zion, it rained in Bryce Canyon. Next video is Grand Canyon, you'll have to see if it rained there. From there, we were like, hey, we're in the car anyway, let's just drive to Yavimpa Point right now. Um, and Rainbow Point, they're kind of together. Passing. Where is she? Right there. When did you start looking at national parks? She looks like my friend Mo. Rainbow Point was really pretty. You could see rain in the distance. Uh, the boys loved filming there and taking pictures. So there was a quill <sighs> on top of this tree. And every time he squawked, it sounded like he was saying, bah, bah, bah. He is Bob's best friend. <sighs> Just across the parking lot, actually, is another observation po point called Yovimpa. And uh, I had read that they're like across the parking lot from each other, which I thought meant like one's here and one's here. But it's more like one's kind of down here and one's kind of down here. We're getting lots of good pictures up here. Lots. <laughs> A fuzzy bunny named Mike won't let me shut this off. Rainbow Point and Yovimpa were both really short walks. Both of them have really amazing views. I loved it there. Yeah, so we got in the car and just went back to our site and chilled out for a little bit. Enjoyed not having our somewhat noisy neighbors next to us there. In a way, I don't want to talk about our neighbors. It was a really good lesson in how to be a good camping neighbor. We're hiking up to one last point today. We're going up to, what's it called? Inspiration point. Ow. Bryce Canyon was a pleasant surprise. Every place we visit is like meeting a new person. And I really love the personality of Bryce Canyon. Chill, relax, fun, a little creative and quirky, and really beautiful. What I liked most is the views of everything. And it made me even more excited for the Grand Canyon, because I thought, if Bryce Canyon looks this awesome, imagine what the Grand Canyon looks like. I have never been there. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you can see the rest of the series. See you next time. Okay, new site, new day. Same beauty routine. Braided my hair last night, took it out, and we'll probably just braid it again today. I last washed my hair, let's just say I don't know. For more beauty tips, follow me.